Hello guys, Sajiro here and today we're going to be painting Drago from Street Masters. This is his card. Here's a little miniature right here. You can see. Well, first things first, I'm going to prime it. I have the Vallejo primer, the black. Shake it up a little bit. Any, it's a brush I'm going to be using. It is a uh, Nick Pearl Flat too. Here, open this up. Get some on my brush. Just make sure to get it all over okay so you're gonna add as much as you want try to get a lot on there what the primer does it helps the paint stick all right so i'm going to time lapse this and show you when i'm done as you can see I primed them all over so you always want to do the from looking from above make sure you're not missing anything also for from looking from the bottom. You want to hit different angles. And you can always add more primer. It's okay. Alright. So. We're just going to let this sit. Let the primer. You know. Let the primer dry. And then we'll be back. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, the primer has dried up. Now I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna use the Citadel Canyon Flesh Tone as the skin color. So this guy's pretty easy to color. You know, he, he's mostly just three colors. And he's bald. So it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to paint the skin right now. And we can do a time lapse for this, okay? Here we go. the skin all right gonna go over just a little details over you know anywhere looks like I miss and okay so next we're gonna go and paint the pants green. 
All right, guys, so I let the skin dry and then I added a little bit more, you know, where it was missing. So I just touched it up more. Now I am going to do the pants. I have wag flesh green for the pants. All right, I'm just going to do them all green. So here we go. Same thing as a skin, it's pretty easy. Uh, this guy's basically three colors. So just gotta be careful not to get it on the skin. It's okay if I get it on the boots because I'm gonna color over it. But just gonna make sure, don't get it where I already colored. Okay, and now, we can do a time lapse. Alright, as you can see, his pants are pretty much done. I'm just gonna let it dry and add. If I see any paint missing in any little spots, just gonna go over it really fast. And okay, so we'll be right back to color the boots brown, and we are almost done. Okay, you can see the pants are all green. So just adding any type of color makes the miniature really pop. You don't have to be good at painting. Trust me, I am not good at all. I really suck. So, I'm going to add this brown, morphine brown for the boots. And then that should um, finish my miniature. And I will add a shade and then try to color the eyes white. So, let's do this. Here. <laughs> Alright guys, here you have it, Let's see, and brown, so what I'm going to do is, I got some brown on the hand on accident, I got some brown on the pants, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly cover that up. You know, cover this up, and then I'm just going to get some green. Go over the pants right here where the brown got. And then I'll show you the final step, which really makes the miniature pop. Alright, so be right back. Okay, guys, here's my miniature. Three colors, pretty easy. Now, what I'm gonna do, 
to make it pop a little bit more is put some shade on there. Some Cerado, uh, a grass earth shade. So this is gonna make the miniature really pop. Just gonna dip my brush in here. So this shade doesn't go on all the creases. And it's gonna give my miniature much, much more detail. So I just put it all over. Go. Everything. Can already see it going in the creases. Try to spread it around. On the boots. good now I'm trying to just make sure it's all over there's not too much on one spot so here it is so all we're gonna do is let this dry for a little bit and then I'll show you the end result Alright, this is a final product after the wash. You can see it. I also colored the eyes just white. See the back. So you can see the wash or the shade adds a lot of details. Um here's a mini to compare it to it. So these are painted the same, same colors. Only difference is this one has a wash. You can see, uh, you can see the details better. It's the back of them. It also makes the miniature a little bit darker, as you can see. So that is my final product. You know, three colors. All with uh, white on the eyes, four colors. And a shade. And this guy is ready to play with. Well. Huh? Thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.